This is a statement from my office concerning the Socialist Party and its utterances. I'm sure everybody has noted that there have been some utterances from the Socialist Party, which we have noted with serious concerns. Recently made by the Socialist Party leader, Dr. Fred Namimembe. The statements published in some tabloids and various social media platforms are inclined at nothing but inciting the peace-loving people of Zambia so that they lapse into a civil disobedience in order for them to gain this case political mileage. The Zambia Police Service is mandated with the responsibility of maintaining law and order in the country and also detection of crime among other things. As such we cannot sit and watch while an individual whose utterances are hell-bent on causing anarchy in the country. Him referring to military junters in West Africa only means one thing, to destabilize the peace in the country which is being enjoyed by innocent citizens. The socialism is preaching about and the bringing of the bringing of military coups. Or let me just say, the relevance of military coups from West Africa into this country. We are wondering if this is the philosophy of socialism. All these statements have been made time and again on our watch and excesses can no longer be tolerated because now we know where he stands and what he's made of. As Zambia Police Service, we want to put it on record that we will not allow such schemes which everyone else equally abhors. If he knows what is good for him, it's better he quits forthwith while he can. And the same applies to every citizen who may be in the process of being chaperoned for the same. Please walk away. Zambia is not for selfish individuals. Therefore, this philosophy being championed by these desperate politicians can no longer, you know, be observed with patience. The Zambia Police Service has an obligation to defend the Constitution at any cost. And that it will do even if it takes some stained measures such as smashing the rebellion, which we know is carefully being instigated by the Socialist Party. <laughs> the emerging junctures in West Africa is referring to is but wishful thinking that the same 
could be extended in this country. We are carefully studying the ingredients of the offense and we will let you know in due course what his fate is going to be. The Socialist Party is preaching and thirsting for democracy, yet they've no spine to uphold the same. He has declared his resolve, and the Zambia police is ready to defend the Constitution. In one breath, the Socialist Party wants to say this country has sufficient laws to provide for the rule of law. In another breath, they are panting enough for violence because they want to cut corners to reach their destiny. As a reminder to the Socialist Party, if you check the history of this country, people with frivolous dreams such as yours have been defeated. I thank you. Station where we came to see uh, the Socialist Party president, Dr. Fred Membe, who was detained on um, charges of uh, criminal defamation. Uh, I'm here with Honorable Nagachinda, our chairperson for information and publicity. But what we wish to say if Honorable Nagachinda comes in is that this is a continued persecution of the opposition. Uh, if you look at all the charges, they're usually ridiculous, they don't even make sense. And the police are usually apprehensive about nothing. I wish to refer to the statement that has been issued by the Inspector General of Police today. A very careless statement. Such statements belong to politicians, not to professionals like the Inspector General of Police. He should desist from issuing political statements. Um, the attack on the personality of Dr. Fred Membe, urging him to desist and keep away from politics, that's not the duty of the Inspector General of Police. Us as citizens have the right to associate with whoever we wish to and to practice whatever uh, 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 vocation we wish to. And if Dr. Membe has chosen to participate in politics, you can't say he should quit. In what capacity is the IG saying such things? I think he should restrict himself, himself to issues of uh, law and order and allow, for example, the Minister of Home Affairs to be the one to issue political statement. But this is an attack on the opposition. We have now witnessed a shrinking democratic space where people are afraid to say what they need to say, where people have to look over their shoulder about what they need to say. That's not the democracy that Zambians want or Zambians voted for. Your comments on the detention of them? Um, I think uh, for us, um, like you have said, uh, I think to the Zambian people, Ms. Aka in the HLMA is doing a fantastic job in cleaning the way for his exit in 2026. Uh, if there's something that uh, unites, effectively unites people together, is misery. And he's doing a fantastic job to impose on the Zambian people with the misery of anger because of their cost of living. He's doing a fantastic job in uniting the Zambian people because of the arrogance that they have already you know, acquired in less than two years of being in government, the brutality they are subjecting all of us through the police, and also the violence of the UPND. They are effectively bringing people together. And the moment the Zambian people unite, around the cause of getting them out of government. 2026 is clearly a year Misaka and Dechilema will be kissing goodbye uh, from State House. And the good thing is that he has also refused to stay there because he knows that he belongs to community house and therefore it will be better to remain there so that it will be easier only to sh shift his very lean files because he has done nothing. I don't think he even has any files he can refer to about what his track record is or legacy in terms of his performance. The arrest of Dr. Membe, we can only encourage him. 
to remain strong. A desperate president and a desperate uh, political party in government, the only way to show that they have learned out of ideas is to begin to arrest you know, opposition leaders. Patriotic Front, we have been, of course, uh, the forerunners on behalf of other opposition leaders in occupying these wonderful hotels at Woodland Police, Central Police, Emmersdale Police, and all the police stations across the country. So we can only say, Aluta continua colleagues, this is the journey towards uh, redeeming the Zambian people come 2026. Thank you very yeah, much. Just in fact, just to support you, I think the appeal to the president is to arrest the economy, attend to the volatility in the exchange rate, attend to the high millimeter prices, attend to the high cost of living. Don't arrest the opposition. You have work to do. Our people are hungry. Our people need you to uh, uh, um, resolve the crisis that the country has. Fulfill all your obligations to the Zambian people. Fulfill your promises that you promised our people. You said fuel will be cheaper. Fuel is far expensive now, almost double. You said millimeter will be cheaper. Millimeter is very expensive. You had said the exchange rate will be stable and below 12 kwacha. It's so volatile, you can't plan. Today is at 17, tomorrow is at 19, and it's difficult for our importers and exporters. So the arrest of Dr. Fred Member is a sideshow to take Zambians away from what they need to discuss, which is the high cost of living. You want them to be discussing Fred Member. Instead of us offering uh, policy alternatives to your failures, we now have to discuss the arrest of the opposition. I think that's not the way for, for a country right. to be run. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, colleagues. Thank God you very much. You.